Welcome back to Dating Place or Online Lost Song. What the fuck, uh, dude? <laughs> today we are fighting a hentai. Literally, everyone's new fetish. Oh, I see. Okay, there's an actual yeah. like humanoid like, portion of the squid thing. Man, this is the embodiment of all of my fetishes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we, we, we got our shit together and uh, we, we managed to beat that same looking dungeon. And so now we're biting a big boy boss. Yeah. Looks like there's something straight out of oh, like a mature, like fan made Splatoon game. <laughs> uh, uh, Splatoon, the Edo gay. The boss. The legend. The, the FAO. Fe the fetish. Oh, you throwing fire at? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. Figure it. It's ice, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, I, right. I kind of like all it right. spraying its ice on all. <laughs> Something's weird about that. Stop just spraying your ice gun. This thing shouldn't really exist, to be honest. <laughs> no, but this entire game shouldn't exist, so I mean, at least it, it stays consistent. Oh, too right, too right. I spit hot fire. <sighs> Alright, these... I'm glad I kind of get the, the strats down here, but at the same time, I, it's I'm doing the same thing. It's not Every too, time. It's not too different. No. <laughs> Can't switch it up, and I really don't want to switch it up. Because I don't want to take risks. Because I don't want to play this game until I am 75. <laughs> God damn it. And at that point, you've just kind of accepted everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm just... Uh, this is my life. This this is... This will constitute my entire well-being. <sighs> I guess I... No, I <laughs> How you like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that. Also, I remember in the last episode, I just made the comment that how life is just so sad. Yep. No, <laughs> I apologize. I, I mean, like, as true as that might be, <laughs> for a lot of times, I apologize. I know that a lot of people just kind of jump onto YouTube, follow these channels, just to kind of escape from everything. And Well, too bad you're not getting in <laughs> there, suckers. So that, that sounded very incomprehensible. Let me try that again. Take two. <laughs> and well, sorry, you're getting a dose of reality here, suckers. Wow, that was much better. I'm glad I glad I know how to enunciate now. <laughs> okay, okay, that uh, didn't heal anything at all there. Uh, I'm not he. Oh, my my maho was down. Uh oh, what you? Oh wait, now it's back up again. My maho got debuffed. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, yeah. that sucks. Well, I guess I'll just fly around until my maho returns back to normal. I mean, I'm I would, sure you could I would use. use it, right? so it's like, well, I mean, I could use it. It's just not really like, gonna do anything. Okay, maybe you could just like close range it. it doesn't look like. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, this hardly like, does yeah, any like, damage, but. Oh really? Oh, it's not, never mind. Anyway, uh, my maho is back. My speed's down, but whatever. <laughs> That's whatever. Uh, I can deal with that. You don't need speed to spit hot fire. Oh, watch out for that mixtape. But uh, I was actually thinking, but now that you mentioned the fact that you, you're pretty much doing the same thing like in, in every boss battle, you're like pretty much like hitting from far away. You're blocking, tried and true <laughs> strats here. Yeah, there's and, there's no variation. And I know that there are some games out there that try to really change it up for each and every um, enemy. Um, but some people like also, um, what should I call it? They kind of criticize that too because it's also kind of rinse and repeat. Like so for so for example, like maybe in a Zelda game, like. Instead of like going head on against like these armored faced dudes, you actually have to like hit them from behind or like yank their mask off. I mean, I don't think that's necessarily uh, an inherent flaw with with that design choice, more than it is the execution. Like, I do agree, Zelda bosses are very predictable. I mean, you don't use the same tactic every time, but it's very much like, oh, I got this item in the dungeon, and I got to figure out how to use it to beat the boss. Uh, I think a game games like Mega Man do it a bit better. Yeah. Or like it's a different boss, the different strat each time, but it's still like use the power up that you got uh, to beat the boss here. But at least in Mega Man, there's still some leeway where you don't have to use that specific power up to beat the boss. Mm -hmm. uh, but it just makes it easier. Uh, yeah. I think it's best though in a game like Super Meat Boy, uh, which has like, if you played Super Meat Boy, like your abilities and the game mechanics you're expected to use throughout the game remain pretty consistent. But the tactics you have to use to defeat bosses in Super Meat Boy change pretty dramatically. I mean, it's still very much like, uh, 
a, a reflex based game but what you're expected to do changes with every boss and I think that's cool it's, it's hard for me to explain but if you haven't played Super Meat Boy uh, go and play Super Meat Boy uh, because it's really good <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I see what you mean, like, with that. I guess it, it comes down to, like, just the flexibility of, like, a boss fight. Like, sure, there is, like, a true threat, but, like, there's different ways of approaching, like, the boss. Mm -hmm. So it's all about that whole general idea of just player creativity to just do and approach things however they please to, so. And I guess there is some of that showing here. You could just go up and, like, hack at her, but... But why would you want to do that? When you could spit hot fire. This is just like an objectively better strategy than that. I don't know, maybe it depends on your character build. Uh, but I mean, like, why would you ever risk not using long range magic when there's like no... Aside from having to like deplete your MP, your MP comes back automatically. It's like, what's what's the downside to, to using that strategy? That's true. I was thinking about like um, Dark Souls when it comes to like long range magic and close combat. Uh, but I guess magic is a little bit more scarce there in the fact that you regenerated like a lot less, or from what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's what uh, made like Skyrim so appealing, especially compared to like games like Oblivion and Morrowind. Mm -hmm. uh, was that the different fighting styles you could use in Skyrim were very balanced like before like if you were a mage in oblivion like you were gonna have a tough time <laughs> because the magic in oblivion was just terrible oh yeah uh, but in skyrim mm -hmm. it actually gives you like a reason to to go for a mage build and similarly being like a tank build is fine being a berserker build is fine stealth build well, I, I guess in really any bethesda game the stealth build uh, is can be broken at times sure but. yeah but if you're like not the kind that that like wants to be patient in an RPG, then, you know, being in these other three classes works pretty well. Mm -hmm. I just I noticed that in Skyrim, like being as broken as it is, like um, especially uh, if you did smithing and enchanting, a lot of that. Oh jeez, both my teammates are dead. Yikes. Um, oh, and she's in rage mode. I just gotta survive this, and then I'll heal them. Yeah, I know it's like how broken things could get, especially like with your your weapon, Jesus. Like it's, mm, because at, at a certain point in Skyrim, you can make your weapons like physical it's weapons like ridiculous. Ew. Yeah, still so, so much though. It's like, you know, I kind of question why I use magic, but I'm like, eh, I'll still stick with it. In that game, I just kind of focus all on magic and and pretty much got to a point where I could just like use magic unlimitedly. So. That was nice. Even though I don't really use those like legendary like destruction magic stuff, but so, yeah. Okay, you gotta figure out like what does what. Healing. There we oh, go. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I, I thought that uh, I thought that would revive him. I'm glad I was right. <laughs> yeah, I think about I'm like if gonna... you if you just like look at something just based on like the name of it. In most Final Fantasy games, that isn't just magic; it's actually an actual item. Like you see, Phoenix. I can't pick it up. Anyway, I'm sorry. What? I was just thinking, like, if someone just read Phoenix down in Fire in Final Fantasy, they'd be like, "What does this even do?" <laughs> what is this? Like, it's dead Phoenix. It's, it's Phoenix down, right? Oh, what do you mean? It like brings people back to life. But at least you know when I'm scrolling through items there, because it's an action RPG, I don't have time to like look up what it does, <laughs> navigate a menu, and hit a battle. At least Final Fantasy, for the most part, is turn-based, depending on what Final Fantasy you're playing. Mm. Uh, so it's like, alright, I can read the description of what Phoenix Down does, I can take my time to like adjust strategies, which is you know, one of the advantages of designing a, a turn-based RPG. Is mm. you, you can make the, the, the combat mechanics a little more complicated, because there's a lot of time for the player to figure out how to play the game. Mm. This is just the worst at everything. <laughs> <laughs> it wants to, like give you the options of a turn-based RPG while at the same time making it like an action RPG. Mm -hmm. It wants it to be an MMO uh, without... <sighs> like, it, it's not complex enough to be an MMO. And also, you need friends for an MMO. And if you're playing this, you don't have friends. <sighs> wow. If you're playing this willingly, you don't have friends. <laughs> and even if you did have friends, which one of them would want to, to play Sword Art Online Lasan? 
You know, Dave, I've been thinking, if you, out of the blue, just invited me to play, like, without any kind of recording whatsoever on <laughs> this game, I'd question you for a second, but I'd probably go with it because you're my friend. Dang, dude. <laughs> that, that's how you know it's real. When they play Sword Art Online Lost Song with you, it's like, this is forever, man. <laughs> We're blood brothers. <laughs> yep. We signed the suicide pact. I'll never forget that. Oh, what was that? I didn't oh mean to use ice there. I meant to use hot fire. We're not even halfway done with this. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. <laughs> this episode is just gonna be us talking over a boss fight. No, I actually kinda like that, to be honest, because it just gives us more leeway to just talk about whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's at this point where it's just kind of mindless. I don't have to think too hard about it. Unlike, uh, you know, when we were playing Modern Warfare 2, I like, feel like half yeah. of it was like, I got to think about this. And I gotta be really careful. Mm -hmm. And so it turns out that it's like 50% us trying to concentrate on the game, and the other 50% is me just getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> you do get mad. I also get, <laughs> I also get frustrated too, but never really mad per se. Unless it's like certain occasions. When was the last time I ever got really mad? Well, it's probably. I'm thinking Doom, but I'm pretty sure it's like something earlier than that. Well, I don't know. I mean, like in a Let's Play? Yeah, in a Let's Play. Uh, we did together. And, uh, I mean, my, my best guess would have been Doom as well. <laughs> Maybe Fallout 4, but I can't think of anything that would have gotten, like, you really mad. Because we had Smeggy. Yeah, we had, like, Invincible Smegdor. Oh, I love Smeggy. Maybe during the uh, the goose fight, mm. we were at that pond, and the, oh no, it was Swan was his name. Oh yeah, oh it sucked, but we found a strat for that. Yeah. Um, what's up? Dark and cover. You know what? We should have made a Smegdorf avatar here. We'll just dominate everything. Yeah, we don't have enough like level of customization to make a Smegdorf. Oh, though. you're right. You're right. We need Uber customization. We need like stronger fisticuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, now that now that we know what we're doing, uh, for the mo for uh, now that we know what we're doing <laughs> more than we did when we were playing Fallout 4, uh, I'd actually like to play like, another Fallout game. Oh really? Maybe Fallout One. Fallout One? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, Good old school in RPGs. What platform is that on? PC. Okay, it's on I, PC. I have the a physical copy of the game with me. Oh wow. Oh shit! Oh, uh, she she's in rage mode. Oh, uh, she's not not a happy squid. Oh, you're about to die too. That's like, fine. My my teammates are at full health. If I die, they can revive me. Although my maho was down, so although I, I don't to, uh, although I don't trust like either us in the game to get that done immediately. And they pulled through me before, but healing with an item takes so friggin' long. Why why does it take that long? My maho is still down. This fight is very frustrating. You know, I kind of. And now I'm oh, asleep. Oh, you're asleep. You're slept. Time to get woke. <laughs> Man, oh that that blast of the face makes me totally woke. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta... Now that I think about it, um, I've been playing some Monster Hunter recently, and um, the healing there also takes a good amount of time. So you usually use that on like a big boss fight. Uh, and Jesus Christ! What? Apparently, the tentacles put me to sleep. And you have dick so good, it puts you to sleep. Jeez. But yeah, I guess I kind of understand when they make that animation like so long, it just makes it more risky. You mm -hmm. have to really plan out like when you should do it instead of like, oh, heal immediately. So there's a little bit more stress on you, and I guess more planning. Yeah. All right, finally done at half health. Jesus. Yeah, you're not putting me to sleep this time, Aha! buddy. Almost there. I, right. I say that, but <laughs> die last bar elf. As usual, come on, come on! You're gonna do something, obviously. Just you know, do it. Has Just she do even it. Use that lance of hers for anything, or trident? I think she shoots like her ice beam out With of it. it. Okay. All right. And then she like shoots ice jizz out of her tentacles, which also put you to sleep. Makes perfect sense. Makes sense. Falling asleep while cold is deadly. It's how you, you uh, hypothermia, kids. Yeah. Stay woke when you're out in the cold. <laughs> Stay woke. I don't like these. These ice missiles remind me of like, that final boss in Sonic Heroes. 
Man, I hardly remember that. Oh, that's right. We have like so many Sonic games we gotta play. Oh yeah. Like, now that I think about it, it's like Sonic Heroes must be down the list, man. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. My sister's coming back from uh, she's, uh coming back for a summer break in college oh, okay. in a couple weeks. And I think she has my copy of Sonic Heroes, so I have to mm-hmm. remind her to bring that down with her so we can play that. Mm. And I don't think I have a copy of Shadow of the Edgehog anymore, so I'll have to find a way to play that. <sighs> All right. Well. <laughs> Well, you could say that's the perfect excuse to not play it, no. but I guess we are. We gotta do it. No, there's one Sonic game that I was kind of really interested in trying out. Uh-huh. I've seen like a number of times like played on other people's channels, but Sonic Colors. The, yeah. Yeah. I, I've always heard that uh, as like the game that uh, made Sonic not shitty yeah. uh, for the 21st century, <laughs> but I, I've yet to play it for myself, so I'd also be interested in actually playing it. Yeah. We could do that instead of uh, Shadow of the Edgehog. I'm game. <laughs> we still gotta do Sonic Heroes. Yeah. Although we should really plan out like what, how long we wanna play Sonic Heroes for. Do we wanna play all characters? Because that's rinse and repeat all levels. Except for like, uh, yeah, we might as well just do like the Sonic story. Because Sonic's good. the hero. He's the main character. Sonic, check this <laughs> gotta out. Gotta go fast. Check this out. Shouldn't you be in grade school? See you later. <laughs> That's no good. All right, I'm out of Sonic sound bites. <laughs> Man, remember when Steve Urkel was the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't. Oh wait, is that like way back when? Like way, way back then? Like, like the cartoons? Yeah, he was the one who did the uh, the anti-drug PSA. Yeah, okay. it was an anti-drug. It was a. Uh, if someone asks you to do something you don't want to, that's no good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Oh man, I, I've I've just I don't know, like when, when I think about dr- like anti-drug PSAs and like PSAs in general, it just felt like a very common thing in the '90s that I don't really see a lot today. Maybe it's because I don't uh, watch as much like actual TV as I used to, mm. and like in consuming my media more on Netflix and streaming services. But Hi. it's just a lost culture. Mm. I. S- Come on, I need one of you guys to heal me, please, please, oh, no. please, no, David, you're the only, you're, you're asleep, and you're the last hope. I swear to God, I swear to God, David, <sighs> David, God, David, son, <laughs> David, son, what Burn is she doing? Life. Take me to church, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> We can only just wait. Oh boy. Oh my god. <sighs> come on, where are you? Oh, come on, dude. Where'd you? Come Where'd you... on, dude. <gasps> on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alright, anyway, I, I, I completely forgot what we were talking about. The Sonic stuff. Uh, uh, it's, it's, commercials? It's no good. Oh yeah, PSAs. Uh, God, like... I remember when, uh, like, Dare would come to school and give us the whole spiel. Yeah, yeah I do uh, remember that. Back when marijuana was the deadliest drug. Oh, boy. How times have changed. Now deadly marijuana is legal in this state. Didn't they, didn't they attend those Dare assemblies when they were in elementary and middle school? I wonder if they still do those. I don't know. I mean... Like, I work at a high school, but I don't remember even having, like, those kind of campaigns when we were in high school. Mm. Which is weird, because you would think that that's when it would have the most impact, mm-hmm. but you'd probably have to kind of change how you approach it. Mm. I mean, I, I'm sure they do. Like, the D.A.R.E. website is still in operation, but it looks like it hasn't changed since the early 2000s. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just really wonder, I wonder... Okay, that, that that's that's cool. Oh my god, where are all these Maho debuffs coming from? Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I kind of thinking. I'm thinking that we should probably end the episode and then maybe we'll just jump back to when this is over. Yeah, I uh, just wasted fireballs. All right, yeah. that sounds like a good idea. All right, yeah, we'll end it. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Dang, plays online last time. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hashtag bye. Hashtag bye.